Hey, this is Joy. Welcome back to another Whimsy Stamps video. Today I'm sharing four holiday cards. I'm using one background stamp and multiple mediums to get really easy and fun holiday cards. So I am using the Believe Die Set Merry and Bright, the Snow Flurry background stamp for all four cards, and then the Win I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say Winter Christmas. It's Vintage Christmas. I start out by putting my rubber stamp into the base of my Misty. I know typically you put it in the door, but I like to put it in the base and then put my paper where I want it and then I use a little bit of double-sided adhesive to tack it down to the door. I treat that with an anti-static embossing tool and then um, ink it up with Versamark and apply a fine detail embossing powder. This one happens to be silver. And I heat that up with my Wagner heat gun. I am using this on Canson XL watercolor paper. And one key thing to note when you're using watercolor paper is not to overheat your powder. You want to melt it, but you don't want to overheat it because it will start to sink down into the paper and you won't like the results. My first technique is using distress inks. And for this one, I am using prize ribbon Villainous Potion, and Wilted Violet. And I am just sporadically putting this over the panel. I am using dome foam applicators, but you could use a brush. You could use makeup sponges. You could use whatever you want to put down the ink. Um, this is just to get some color down. And my darkest color is going to be Villainous Potion. So I use less of that than any other color because I don't want it to overcome my panel. This is important because in just a second, we are going to add a bunch of water. So using my distress sprayer, I add the water and this, this is where you're starting to get that watercolor effect. And it pulls up and all those colors kind of meld together. I switch to a heated tool because it's not as hot as a Wagner heat tool or any other heat gun um, and it disperses the air more so instead of having a concentrated flow. Once that's dry I come back in with the exact same colors and I apply another coat of ink. I think it's really important to note that you need to dry the ink in between each layer. By doing that you're preserving some of the texture and the nuggets of color that you get from distress inks or any really any dye ink but distress is really good at leaving all those watermarks and different um, shades so that's why I chose distress ink over anything else for this now I wanted a brighter panel so I stick with this prize ribbon now I know prize ribbon seems dark but it's not as dark as like blue blueprint sketch or chip sapphire this is a really nice royal blue and then the wilted violet also brings out a really nice brightness as well so those two colors are my main and then you saw that i um spritz that down again and i'm heating it and i am just loving all of this texture in the card and then all the shine i did the exact same thing with the embossing except for i applied copper um embossing powder and I heated that with my Wagner uh, heat tool. I am using 80 pound smooth cardstock for this so we're going to get a different effect. I am using the colors Tumbled Glass, Evergreen Bow, and Iced Spruce and I'll be honest with you this is probably not my favorite card but I wanted you to see the process and to see the difference. In the end, I think we ended up getting a really pretty card, but this kind of goes awry before it gets better. So I start with the tumbled glass, and that goes down as per usual. And um, this is one of my favorite distress colors, as well as distress oxide colors. So by all means, this is not where we go awry. And have I mentioned this snow flurry background is amazing. Here's where I'm going Oh God, what did I do? I put down my evergreen bow. Now I don't use this very often, so my ink pad was really juicy and you're gonna see I got that really harsh line. Um, I almost 
throw this away, but I have a motto to keep going and see if I can salvage stuff. And it's always important for me to leave my mistakes on the screen. That way you know how to fix them. And you also know that all of us that are making videos, we mess up just like you do. So my fix for this, um, again, was to keep going. I come in with the ice spruce, which is kind of a gray undertone, and it's not the greatest blend yet. So I come in with my Distress Sprayer, and I soaked this. I just recently saw uh, Kelly Taylor do something similar, and she sprayed the heck out of it and mopped it up with a paper towel to lighten the colors. So once I got that evergreen bow lightened, they, and then I dried my uh, paper, and again, very important not to overheat your embossing powder, I continued to put down a second layer of each of the colors. I did not repeat the evergreen bow, if I remember correctly, because I did not want that to be any darker, but I really thought the ice spruce needed um, to come out a little bit more, and the tumbled, gra tumbled glass is where you got the brightness of the card. I did uh, spritz that again off camera just to get some of the watercolor droplets, but uh, actually I left it on. I, I thought I edited this part out. So anyway, um, you're seeing kind of the final result. Now you need to remember with Distress inks or any type of dye ink, as they dry, they dry back, and so you're going to get a lighter color. Now I am bringing in Distress Mica Sprays. This is the holiday collection. I have both of them. I don't know which is which. I like to use a like Rubbermaid container with a paper towel in it because when I'm done, I can just wipe it out and be done. All those splat boxes with all the gunk in it, they kind of, I don't know, they just seem dirty. So I choose um, one of the aqua colors the blue color and a green and I'm just spraying this down in no random random order I truthfully don't use a whole lot of sprays in my crafting just because it's kind of messy at times and um, it's just it's not my cup of tea but I know that on this channel you guys like to see techniques and you'd like to see cards that get done quickly and easy especially during Christmas so I'm having a go at it, and I'll be honest with you, I had a lot of fun. And there is, like I said, no rhyme or reason as to how I'm applying these. Um, I really like that green that turns gold. That one's probably my favorite out of the holiday. But again, these come in uh, sets of three, and there are two different ones that were released. If I can find them still, I'll link them, but I doubt that they are. These are kind of a one-and-done and don't come back for at least another two years. I did ultimately spray that down with a little bit of water, and now I am heating it a little bit with my heated tool, and ultimately I decided to let that dry off to the side, air dry. Now I am bringing in another panel. I didn't bother to change the paper towel, um, and I'm using one of the teal colors, and I know I bring in one of the pink colors in this uh, holiday set and this turns out to be a super cool card so you're going to know that teal and pink make a purple and then you see where I go ah I did that really dark color in the center we're going to fix that um, I'm not mad at it it ends up this ends up in my opinion my favorite card out of all of them so here I go, and I am just dousing this with my Distress Sprayer, and now look how cool and shimmery this looks. I am using a little pokey tool just to hold that down. I do end up getting some pull, pulling in the center, so I let go of that, and I let that kind of do like some, I'm going to call it like drippy paint look, and this turns out amazing. Um... Now I will note that my panels for on the watercolor cardstocks were all um, four and a half by six, so I did have some room to trim these down. So if they look a little bit different when we get done with the final panels, that's why. But look how cool this panel is! I love, love this, and I am so glad I tried it. Look at that shimmer and shine! Oh, 
Now, I am going to emboss on top of these cards. I'm, I didn't leave that in just because you've seen it, but it's very important that you dry these thoroughly and then um, do a test to make sure that it's not going to stick. And here are those results. I just wanted you to see them. I'm comparing all four cards. And like I said, none of them um, are the same and very different. I die cut the Mary and Bright both in white and in black and I use the shadow die and cut it out in vellum. It's very important when you use vellum that you just put dots of glue down so that you don't have it shining through because it will show through the vellum. So you're seeing me here being very meticulous and I wanted you to see that. Now I did the exact same thing with the Believe die set. I cut it in white and in black and I just put them up against each card to see which one popped the most and that's how my design elements took place. So here I am uh, using my reverse tweezers. I find that that helps a lot with placement that way you're not getting a whole lot of um, glue smearing and then I added for this card some silver baubles from my stash. They're pretty much anything you can find anywhere. Um, I don't have a link for them and that's that view. For the, my favorite card, the one with the pink and the blues, I use the Believe matted on black and then I use the Marian Bright. Here are my cards. I just think, gosh, I love, love these cards and to think I didn't do it. Now what you're seeing me do is I'm taking a um, ink smushing tool just to add, to apply pressure and then I'm using the sentiment from Vintage Christmas that says may the spirit of the season fill you with love peace joy and hope so I hope that you like this those were stamped on the inside and um, if you've stuck out with us this long please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment I love hanging out with you guys and I hope to see you back here are some last uh shots of my cards like i said even the card that i was kind of worried about it turned out beautiful and it was simple simple crafting perfect for mass producing at christmas time so until next time friends keep crafting be blessed bye bye